Tonight uh, we're going to replace all the old street lights on Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, we're going to uh, exchange our 250 watt metal halide street lights with uh, new 200 watt LED uh, lamps. We're expecting to, to get uh, a lot of energy savings. Uh, we're going to save about $2,000 a year uh, with an eight year return on investment in life. To put the lights up, normally there's a crew of two, maybe three of us. Tonight we're working on the North Approach in Lane 1. Uh, we normally start our shift from about 9 o'clock till about 4 o'clock in the morning we finish. Funding for this project came from the Office of Environment and Heritage Grant. If it wasn't for that grant, this, this project would not have occurred. We, we tend to spend most of our money on painting the bridge. This will definitely affect the maintenance. The, the maintenance that we're doing on the LED lighting now is very minimal as opposed to the old lighting system that we used to use. We've had a lot of positive feedback from Roads and Maritime Services staff. Uh, as far as the travelling public goes, I don't think they've noticed any change on the bridge, uh, which is a good thing, we don't want to be noticed. From our end, we know that the road deck is now brighter because of the LED lights, and which makes it a lot safer for drivers as they cross the bridge. If an 85-year-old bridge can uh, lead uh, innovation and technology, then there's no excuse for other old structures not to do likewise.